Lucky for those of you wanting to take a leap into next gen with the PlayStation 5, I'm here. Your friendly neighborhood reviewer who's looking to give you the ins and outs of what you should expect from the console. And it's a console, so again, let's add some extra time to this one. Literally towering over its competitor, the PlayStation 5 is hard to miss. Its massive curvy frame and light that emits from its inner shell had me appreciating its uniqueness. PlayStation 5 is unique down to its controller, which, like the console, opts for a futuristic white. The real superstar is the controller. It has haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and a built-in mic. Most launch titles don't showcase the true ability of it, but if you play Astro's Playroom, then you'll see your mind open to the possibilities of PS5. Every move you make in the game is more believable than DualShock's 4's vibrations. A pleasant surprise was how the mic was clear when playing Call of Duty, although it's not an ideal setup if you want to hear your enemy's footsteps. There is a real opportunity for cool mechanics with this controller. It's a next-gen console, so yes, games are fast and look beautiful on it, especially with PS5's ray tracing. When playing Spider-Man Miles Morales, you truly are able to see the stunning lighting graphics in the reflections of buildings when you're swinging around New York. The game's fidelity mode pushes the maximum performance ability at a steady 60 FPS, which makes it hard to go back to any other setting. It's not uncommon for consoles to release with some bugs, and the PS5 is no exception. During setup, my console crashed while I was transferring files from PS4 to PS5, and again during a cutscene early on in Miles Morales. A quick reboot picked me up right where I left off in the game, and it was smooth sailing from there. I didn't have any other experiences like this outside of that. Overall, the PS5 feels like a next-gen console. From its unique design, innovative controls, revamped UI, and breathtaking visuals. If you secured a PS5 at launch, then you can look forward to a great lineup of games. If you didn't, even if you get it a year from now or later, you'll have a better experience. You'll have more games and hopefully patches to smooth out a couple of bugs. So waiting may be the best option.